We here at the southernmost attraction on Sealand. Yes, it is the southernmost attraction. You heard me right. The rule of the game today is to see attractions on the western coast of Sealand. And how do we do that? Well, it has to be near the coast. I guess in Denmark we have something called near coast, roughly translated. And it has to follow those rules. So near the coast and it has to be an attraction marked on Google Maps as an attraction and it doesn't have to be anything special and we're going to see what is there of interesting things along the western coast of Sealand. Let's head up and find something more interesting than a bunch of stones and let's head on. Uh, we are going to start heading towards a city called Wadingborg. There should be something of a castle there but let's venture on. We have reached our second stop. There is of course some attractions along the way, but they are very small. This is the first proper attraction. It is in Wattingborg. It is the castle ruins of Wattingborg. In the castle ruins of Wattingborg, you will see how great a city this actually has been. And Borg in Danish is actually castle. So Wattingborg, the castle at Wadding. Yeah, you get my drift. And from here, it is, well, a short ride to the next thing. Quick little side note, we're driving an EV around on this trip because we care about the environment. Is it environmentally friendly? Well, I'll be covering that when my podcast comes out. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel and have clicked that bell notification icon so you know it when a new video comes online. But uh, let's head out. We have something interesting to see on the other side of the bay on a little uh, island. And yeah, I know it's not Sealand, no, it's an island, it's called Masnazur. But it's okay because small islands that is connected by bridges, we also have to see on them, but because otherwise this will be a boring episode. So let's head out on Masnazur and see what interesting things await us out there. So we are out at Masnadu to look at bridge construction. That's the great thing because they're building a new big bridge here. Oh, just kidding. It is of course the Masnadu fortress. An old fortress from the time when Denmark had wars all over. It is circa 1915. Yeah, it is over 100 years old and it is still standing strong with these well, not so beautiful buildings. The thing about this is that it is a great big construction piece, but it's more than that. It's, well, a look into history. Unfortunately, it is locked down, so you can't get in there, but well, you can still admire the great construction that has gone on to build this fortress. One thing to remember while walking out here is that it is at your own risk because the buildings are, well, they're not maintained for your pleasure. It is not dangerous to walk out here. Just use common sense. Don't go into places you can see is obviously dangerous or you don't know the dangers of it. It's a general rule. Walk around at your own risk, but it is a beautiful area and um, you can see some of the old structure out here. But time to find the car and head on further north. From the top of the old control tower here at Auner, you can watch well, the beautiful surroundings. This is an old airfield and it has the most beautiful landscape all around. No matter where we look, it is, well, it is a flat, yes, but it has a well, a wildlife that is extraordinary. You can see seals out here. You have to, have to head all the way out to the coast. You can see different kinds of birds. So if you're into birds, go up to this tower. Take binoculars along and watch and see. It's a big old room up here, but you can see all of Aune from up here. And a fun story, this was not just an airfield, it was also a school training pilots, which means this was an airfield from 1930s where they start the teaching people how to fly. Yes, all the way back to 1930, there was airplanes out here. 
it stopped being an airport in 1993. So it was a long run it had, but uh, well, we are limited in the amount of airports or airfields we can have in Denmark. There's a nature school where you can learn a little bit about the island and the wildlife, but there is also beautiful nature. We are not going to take a walk out there due to the weather today. The weather is, well, a bit windy, but from up here, you can sit and enjoy even in bad weather. So, well, walk up here at your own risk. The stairs are a bit steep, but it is manageable. And now we are headed even further north. We are headed towards Nestville. We are headed in and seeing if there's something interesting there. So uh, let's head back on the road and uh, find some more interesting places along the shores of Sealand. Right behind me we have the Gaunu Castle. And uh, we are here at the wrong time of year because it is only open in the summer period. From our oh, spring period. But I will return when they have cars out here and show you, well, cars on Gaunu. But for now, know that they have one of the most beautiful gardens. They have the Tulip Show, which is, I believe it's the largest in Europe. And they have a big well, car, veteran car show. And I'll return to that because that is an experience I want to give you. But if you, anyways, you are in the area and it is spring, summer, even start of fall, they will be open. Check out their website. I will link it down below. And uh, let's head on because we have much more to see and we can't stand here looking at a beautiful castle. On this West Coast travel, we have reached the beautiful Enu, also translated into English, one island. And this is the beach paradise. Yeah, not the season for it. Simply not the season for it. But it is also part of the city, Carbex Minel, and let's head over on the other side of the bridge and see why Carbex Minel is so special. The special thing about Carbex Minel all year round is the fish restaurants right behind me. It is not one, there are several of them. And they, well, they produce well made fish. And it is a great experience to come down here and eat some good fish. And that is why you should come to Carpex Main in the, well, fall, winter. In the summertime, it's also for bathing. And if we take it all the way out to the edge of Enu, there's also beautiful nature. And if you want to see how we venture further on along the west coast, then check it out right here. If it's not online by now, YouTube will recommend something special for you.